spooling around with the v-spooler filament re-spooler so this here i actually kind of got this one already going but this is something that if you need to make quick work of a spool transferring it from one to the other in this case you can see that this one is quite damaged it actually was on top of the rack up there uh, when i used to store my filament up there the machines were all shaken and then it fell off crashed to the floor and exploded so i'm re-spooling this one now uh there was other spools that I was going to show but I kind of got carried away and I re-spooled all of them uh, there was like this spool these two these two that one there's a local company here alpha play and they used to use these really wide spools they were like one and a quarter probably not one and a half but maybe like one and one and a third of a standard spool so they didn't fit within the AMS and now that I have a second bamboo lab machine I'm like you know what I should probably transfer them over so I can use them in there I used to just use them on these machines because each of them just an arm arm that one has an arm on the back too i used to just because you just yeah use the center of the core of the spool to put it on there and then you're able to run it fine but because now i use the ams's among other things i thought i might as well get something to help me with that so this is available on maker world the v spooler by Fur furby firebe I'm just going to call it Furby Additive. Furby Additive. That may or may not be right, but it is what it is. Uh, this is the one that I printed here and built, the V-Spooler. They do also have a couple other options. The V-Spooler X, which is a wider version of it, and the V-Spooler Mini. Haven't tried either of those, and nor have I tried any of the other re-spoolers out there. But after doing a little bit of research, I opted for this one because it's compact it looked like a really nice design and i thought i would give it a go so i've already got through probably about 12 maybe 14 spools something like that and it's made really quick work of them as you can see i've already started most of this one here just because it's kind of mangled so i did it did it off camera uh, because i know it's it's not going to go great because i'm using these uh spacer rings i printed these spacer rings well designed and printed them 196.5 uh, there's a 197, 198, etc. But I printed them for all my cardboard spools because in theory, and I have done it, you can use a cardboard spool in the AMS, but it's going to chew up the rollers in there a lot faster. There's these rubberized rollers in there. It's going to chew that up a lot faster than your polymer roll uh, spools will. So yeah, I decided to change over most of the stuff there. And if I didn't, then I printed those rings. They're just actually hanging up by the machine over here just in case i need extras I actually have to print some more of them because i found even more variation to some of these cardboard spools but i digress back to this so this respooler unit here makes short work of any respooling tasks it's not the widest but it was wide enough for those uh wider spools that i had and now they're i've all gone through them uh, it does come with the option whoops there's my fingers it does come with the option of a handle, this handle here, uh, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to crank that. I'm not going to soldier boy it the whole way. So I just opted for the drill mod, which is just pretty much, yeah, you just, it's, it came with it and you just pop your drill in there and then, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go slowly, just do a little bit, but you get the idea. Ah, there we go. So. It just makes it much easier. There is a motor mod for this, but I looked at the components, uh, even on AliExpress, and it's probably going to run me about $100 Canadian to get all the components to convert this over to just a motorized system that I can just plug in, set up, forget. So I didn't bother with that because it's not too often after I transfer all these over, it's not going to be too often that I'm going to need to re-spool filament. But I'll still have this unit on the shelf just in case. And it, like I said, it's really nice and compact, so it easily just fits up there. Just keep it up and out of the way. And it is a great design. I will say there is a lot of bearings in this. There was like 20, yeah, I think there was actually 20 608 bearings. So like one, two, like each of those things is a bearing. There's all these bearings there. It was a lot of 608 bearings. So thankfully I had a whole bunch of 608 bearings. There was only a couple of components that at the source, like these smaller bearings here, these I think were 693 bearings. And then there's a spring under there. Uh, the 693s I just got off AliExpress. And then the spring I actually just picked up from Bamboo Lab when I made an order for some filament and some other things. But yeah, it's uh, a great design. 
And the way I kind of started off, I used this as a lesson from like some of the bamboo, uh, bamboo spools that I've uh, went through. I've went through a lot, a lot of bamboo spools, probably a good, oh my goodness, well over a hundred, well over a hundred this past year. Cause I actually have two, I have an X1C and a P1S at work and I have two machines here. So yeah, it, it's, uh, it gets a little out of hand, but Looking through the different spools that I went through over the years, they had like a piece of tape here. They had other things. They had like a little slot at one point. Uh, the latest ones that I seen, they just put a piece of tape here and then they push it over the side. So I kind of use this as an example. And this is what I do. This is a piece of electrical tape. And then in there, you can't really see it now, but when I have my spool in there, I just put the first little piece of filament underneath there, tuck that over, and then I start a slow wind just to get some more filament wrapped over it. And then it, yeah, it just makes uh, for a good start point for the filament. So far, I haven't run through a full spool of this filament yet. So uh, I do hope that the spool will keep this captive in there and it won't end up in the AMS because that would be a bad day. But uh you know electrical tape has that like little bit of gumminess it's a little sticky over time it will kind of just uh rub off onto anything but yeah we'll, we'll see i think honestly i think it's going to be okay i think it's just going to pop out when it gets to that, that last little bit of the spool but we'll see don't take my word for it i don't know what i'm doing so uh, yeah Again, uh, this is the V-spooler filament re-spooler. Uh, if you're looking for something like this yourself, it's available on Maker World. You can download all the files there. The full bomb is on there. There was also some pretty good ins instructions for building this too. Not everything has great instructions, but in this case, this actually had some pretty good instructions for putting together the whole assembly. So yeah, made, uh, made it for a nice project to do one day. And now that I have this, I can re-spool any of my spools, whether they be wide, broken, cardboard, whatever it may be. I don't think I'm going to bother with all the cardboard ones. I'm just going to probably have to print more rings. But it's a great option for that. So yeah, if you want to get one yourself, again, Maker World Furby, Fire, Firebee, Furby Additive. Uh, go and give yourself uh, a gargle. Get it, Give it a gargle on the old internets and get yourself one if you want to. So that's it. That's all. Cheers.